Hey everyone, as requested by many of you, today I got another time-lapse video of me painting a personification of an MS symptom. And as announced, it's again a sensation I'm portraying. But unlikely last week's painting, the concept to this painting came together quite quickly. Actually, painting it was the tricky part this time. But for someone who paints hands as easily as I do, which, by the way, among the artist community is considered to be the most difficult part of the human body to draw. So, um, painting this was pretty manageable for me. <laughs> you know, a, a little self-praising, never hurt nobody. <laughs> okay, <laughs> uh, this was my daily dose of narcissism right here. Um, just kidding. No, I was actually surprised how well this worked. And I know you probably have no idea what symptom I'm even painting here <laughs> since it isn't visible at all yet. But we'll get there. And I honestly would have loved to add music to this video, like background music. Partly because I have no idea how I'm supposed to fill all these minutes talking without talking nonsense like I am right now. Because I'm really tired these days. Um, but also because music is it's like truly inspirational for me. And I would have loved to give you an insight to the kind of music I'm listening to while working on this project. But yeah, you know, copyright issues. But I guess I'll just add a few links um, to the comment section. So links to the music I'm listening to while painting. Then you'll get an idea. But uh, back to my painting. So the background I'm painting right now actually gives a little hint to what the sensation I'm visualizing feels like. But before we come to that, I had to wait for the paint to dry. And since this is a video of my whole painting process, you'll have to wait as well. But since watching paint dry even is a phrase used for things that are super boring, because watching paint dry is super boring, I thought I might just share with you the beautiful cloudy sky I was admiring while waiting. And since this is a time lapse, this only takes a few seconds. So, now let me finally explain what symptom I'm portraying this time. Today's painting, that is again portraying an abnormal sensation I had during my second flare-up in the beginning of this year, visualizes the feeling of having water drops run down your skin. And I don't mean a feeling like being sweaty. More like when you stood in the pouring rain and you go inside completely soaked and there are these cold, small water drops running down your body. Just that, in this case, there is no water involved. This MS symptom, again like most of the symptoms I visualize, is non-existent to the eye. Which actually is the main reason why I paint it. I, like um, probably everyone who has MS, often hear the words, Oh, MS isn't that bad. You look fine. I guess most people who hear MS expect you to be bound to a wheelchair right away, and when you're not, you automatically must be fine. And I know myself that it's difficult to properly react to that statement. Because it's difficult to put the complexity of this illness into words. It's already hard to truly grasp the overwhelming variety of symptoms this illness has. Like, I mean, just to comprehend it yourself. So how are we supposed to explain this to others? To people who have no clue what we're talking about? And I realized, my paintings do a good job at giving outsiders an idea of what it means to have a mess. And with every new painting I add to this collection, it will get more obvious that this illness has a thousand faces, and the wheelchair is just one of them. But back to the symptom I'm working on now. As you can see, painting it was manageable, as I said, but super time consuming. The sun has set by now, and I guess I was coloring my sketch for around two hours. Now, the only thing missing was the outlining, but for that the paint must be completely dry and I couldn't bother to wait for that again. So I stopped for the day and picked my pen up again on another day. And you can see, I still finished my painting after, well, um, just a different sunset. Well, as I said, um, I was quite busy and really tired these days. But luckily I don't necessarily need daylight to paint, since I have very strong lights right next to my table. 
And I actually think we're slowly coming to an end here. So now we're finally able to take a look at Maria. Wait. I actually think that was the first time I said her name in this video. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Stupid. Okay, uh, anyway, so my visualization of this MS sensation, the feeling of having water drops run down your skin, there's the name Maria. And here she is. I'll see you next week.